The time's now 622 on your Friday. A clerk at Regional One Health has seen it all, and no wonder she's worked in the trauma department for 57 years. Her co-workers say they don't know what they would do without her, making her this week's bright spot. As long as the Lord let me get up and be able to come here, I'm coming. It's hard to miss the red nails, the laugh, <laughs> and the spirit of Miss Ernestine Joyner, also known as Miss J. He always refers to you as mother. Uh, um, no, good looking. Good looking. <laughs> Four days a week, each workday, 4.30 a.m., 82-year-old Miss J is preparing for work in the trauma center. I don't have to be to work until 7 o'clock. I get here every morning at 5.30. And she's never been late. It's a routine Miss J has followed for years, 57 years to be exact. And I don't think I've ever called in. April 16, 1964, Miss J started as a ward clerk at what was formerly known as John Gaston Hospital, now Regional One Health. She's had quite a few promotions before becoming an office assistant. Critical patients come in here like car wrecks gunshots and staff. We have all types of people that come in, but you got to be able to deal with all of them. In their worst moments, checking in for treatment, Ms. J has made it her mission to make every critical patient feel relaxed and welcomed. After being a patient herself, she knows just how important her work is. I always keep a smile on my face and make, try to make a person feel good, even though they feel bad. Ms. J has dedicated her weekdays and weekends to patients at Regional One Health, so it's only right for her to know just how far her kindness has stretched. She was surprised that our cameras were there to document her work at Regional One and had no idea what was in store next. For your anniversary, how do you plan on spending today? I plan on spending my day today and sit, and sit at my desk and doing my work. <laughs> <laughs> You said the usual, huh? The usual thing I do every day. <laughs> well, joke's on her. It's funny because Miss J thought her day would be a normal one. I don't like surprises, Simone. You don't? No. She couldn't really think her nearly 60 years of care could go unnoticed, right? Miss J, we just love you. <laughs> Hours after our interview, a crowd of loved ones, physicians, nurses, and family met outside the hospital to surprise her and thank her. She's the kindest, most loving person that I know. If there was no one left but her in this organization within our department, that we would still run efficiently and smoothly. That's how much she means to us. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Love you. I just hope that God keep giving her strength and the ability to co keep coming to where she loved. Just believe that God has brought me this far. He ain't fit to leave me now. As the 82-year-old says, every Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, and any day in between she's needed, she'll be here, Lord willing, hoping to do another 57 years. If you find me today, <laughs> which I won't, <laughs> I will still love you. <laughs> Y'all, that is her all day. <laughs> well, hey, if you know someone or something you would like me to feature on Bright Spot, just let me know. You can send me an email or message me on social media. Okay, come on. Todd, to that what you think. Well, Love it. What an amazing individual. Yeah. We are so lucky to have her in our lives. 57 years. That's all I'm going to say.